Every once in a while in the Facebook group, I see people asking about this WooCommerce to Entreport plugin and why it stops working, why it's not doing what they think it should do. So I'm going to break down how that thing works so you understand uh, how that WooCommerce to Entreport plugin works. So basically, it works on something that's already built into Entreport. So if you went into your admin panel here, so administration, you're going to have the admin panel. And down here, we have this thing called partner tracking pixel. And what the partner tracking pixel does here, I'll, I'll pull up what it looks like. So if I click on this, it's just going to give me the partner tracking pixel for my account, which looks like this. Um, it looks like this guy right here is what you will find inside of there. And it's basically, it's got your account subdomain at entreport.com. And then it's got this whole query string of garbledy gook back here. And these are all different things that can be pushed into your Entreport account. So what the, the intention of this plugin is that you would put it on the confirmation or thank you page of a shopping cart. And then you would link all these fields like email, you would link the email field in your shopping cart. So it would say email equals email field in your shopping cart. And then the um, the thank you page, the, the shopping cart you're using would dynamically fill in these blanks for you. And it puts it all together in this image, which is really nothing more than we're trying to call up this URL. So it's a tracking pixel, just like your Facebook pixel might work. Um, but we're trying to call up this URL. So when we call this URL, Entreport knows it's your account at Entreport. And then we have this whole string of info here that Entreport is grabbing and saying, okay, the order ID equals this, the email equals that. And we're going to push all this into that account. So it would come in like a purchase inside your account minus all the credit card details and that it's not doesn't have the transaction info but it will have the purchase info inside your account so you can have a record of who purchased what and then you could run rules off of hey they just purchased this so if i break down this woocommerce plugin it's working off this principle it's using this partner tracking pixel that entreport has built in and it's just linking that partner tracking pixel to woocommerce so here's what it looks like so if I had, if I dug into my uh, thank you page on a WooCommerce site, here's what the plugin would look like. Again, it would be your account. You know, when you set up that plugin, you put in your subdomain. Well, it's just going to put it right there. And then it's going to match all these fields to the WooCommerce fields and create this pixel that's going to fire on that thank you page. So problem number one I see is people get rid of the thank you page. They say, I'm going to redirect them somewhere else, and then suddenly their plugin stops working. Well, that's because the plugin only works if the thank you page fires and this pixel is generated. Somehow you have to get this pixel to generate, and that's what the, the WooCommerce plugin, Woo to Entreport plugin is doing, is it's got the script, it's got the code. I mean, here's the code right here. It's got all this code that it's putting on that page to generate this pixel and right here's all the stuff that generates the pixel so it's uh, just living on that thank you page so when you get rid of the thank you page you've gotten rid of the plugin so that's problem number one I see then number two is what is it matching to what so here it all is these are all the different fields inside of woo that it is matching to your entreport fields and I broke it down right here to make it a little simpler to read you know let's blow this up so per order, so for every order that goes through in your shopping cart, these fields are generated. So it's going to have use the order ID in Entreport is equal to the order number in Woo. The email in Entreport is equal to the billing email in Woo. And first name is equal to billing first name, last name, billing last name, address, billing, whoops, got the wrong, got the wrong character there. Billing address one, address two, billing address two, so on and so forth. Uh, now, here's two that are tricky. These come up a lot. Shipping amount. So, um, it's going to equate that to order shipping. Tax. It's going to say tax equals the cart tax plus the shipping tax. It's going to take those two fields and put them together. And that's where it's generating this tax amount from. Now, per line item, so for every item they order in the shopping cart, it's going to generate these items. And it does that by, it'll say item ID one. And then if I have a second item, it's going to make a whole nother set of these that says item ID two, 
item ID three, etc. So it's got item ID, which is item SKU. So this is why you have to have the SKU inside Woo equal your product ID inside of Entreport because it's going to push this in and say, we just bought item SKU, whatever, and here that equals to item ID, whatever, inside of Entreport. Uh, the external ID, it's matching that to the item name. And then here's the other uh, interesting one, item price. So where does it get the price? It grabs that from item line subtotal, which is uh, not what a lot of people expect because they are, look, you know, they have a sale, um, they have a, a coupon code, and it's not bringing in the correct price. That's because it's grabbing this item line subtotal price. Not 100% sure on the sale. I know coupon codes because they're added at the cart level um, are not grabbed per item. Sale price, you know, I think sale price is, but the coupon code, definitely not. So if somebody buys with the coupon, it's still going to push in the full price right here because it's grabbing the item line subtotal. And then item quantity is how many they bought. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So there it is. That's how this whole plugin works. Um, it, it, it's pretty slick. It's a nice little plugin, pretty, uh, reliable. As long as you keep that page, that thank you page alive, you don't change the thank you page. And as long as you, uh, you know, you understand what fields are matching to what it's going to make sense to you. All right. That is all I have for today.